Here, I'll look at how you don't need pairs to be built into Racket, how you can simulate the same behavior of cons using just lambda. So here, I have written the function cons l. That'll be my replacement for cons. And just like cons, it takes in something that will be the first and something that will be the rest of that list. What this returns is a function, lambdas create functions. This function here shown can take one argument. That argument will check if it is equal to first. If it is, we'll just pass back whatever was passed to, as the first argument to cons l. If x is equal to the rest, we'll pass back well, whatever was passed in as the second argument to cons l. And here, else bad, we'll have an, this is just a basic error case. So again, cons l here is returning a function. So I can call this. I'm calling it with one in the empty list, and that returns a procedure. Regular cons, if I call it with one in the empty list, returns the list one. For now, I'm going to define x to be cons of one in the empty list. This, again, is just using the regular cons. And we'll look at how we can use this. We can say, give me the first of x. And that returns whatever was the first argument to cons, which was that one. I can also call the rest of x. Oops, extra parenthesis. I can also call the rest of x which returns the rest, or the second argument, that was passed to cons originally. So I have x, which is that, created with the regular cons, and I'm going to define z to be cons l of 1 and the empty list. Now z is a procedure, but this is a procedure that I can call. Remember, it's a procedure that takes in one argument, and we compare that argument to the string first, or the string rest to figure out whether we should pass back the, argu the first argument or the second argument that was passed to cons L. So here I can call Z, which is a procedure, with the argument first. What happens is that I'm calling this procedure, so X will be first, and it will compare is X equal to first, which it is, and it will return whatever I passed in as the first argument to cons L, which was 1. Ta-da! I can also call rest, I can call it with the argument rest, and I'll get the empty list back, which was the second thing I passed to the cons L call. This isn't that beautiful, right? I, if I make something really complicated, I don't want to have to be reasoning about it being a procedure. I want to just be able to say something like first of Z and get the right answer back. So what we're going to do is we're going to define first and rest. And we're going to define them to work with what the type of function that's returned by cons l. So this is going to return, a, this is going to take in a function, and I'm going to call that function, which is really the function representing the pair, and call it with the argument first. Similarly, I can define rest, it takes in a function, and I'm going to call that function with the argument rest. Now I'll run this again. I'll redefine z to be cons l of 1 and the empty list. z again is a procedure. I can get the first of z, sorry, I can do the first of z by saying first. That calls this lambda function with the, the argument x is first and it returns f. So this one works. And this is exactly what's happening in this first func. I can call first, and the, the value that I passed in will be z. This z is a function. What will happen when this gets called is it will call that function that I pass in z with the argument first, and I'll get my f back. Similarly, I can call rest with z and get my empty list back. I can do more interesting things, like I can define y to be cons l of 1 and cons l of 2 and cons l of 3 and the empty list. This is just the same exact way you would create a cons list like this. Cons, cons, cons of 3 and the empty list. So these are parallel ways. So I want something that represents something like A. I have Y, which is a procedure. 
but I can call first on y and get back the 1. I can call first of rest of y and get back that 2, just like I could call first of rest of a 